Good challenging by Stora, but uh, Wilson in possession. And his chance for Denon Lewis to run at his right back. Good and ball. whipping a great ball into Ooh. the box. Well claimed, though, by Ryan Boot. In the middle there and uh, caused him a bit of a problem. Good flick on by Charlie Hughes. And Danny Parrish taking on Nathan Cameron. And he's wriggled past Cameron. Good work by Parrish. Lovely ball Good into ball. the box. And here's oh. a chance at the fast stick for Charlie Hughes, who couldn't quite divert his header. And he's wrong with fact it's the number three, Jordan Cranston, who has got an excellent left foot. He saw his shot deflected wide of the post. That's right at the end of March, so not that long ago, really. And the crowd getting very animated behind the goal. The ball just floated in and a flick and a, a miss at the fast post by Nathan Cameron. But I think he actually hit the post, still in I think. Possession. Need to get this and, out. Need and there's clear Cameron this. again, blocked down. Will stand desperately trying to clear. Good, now and, break. Uh, they've lost the ball. Maycock was dispossessed. And here's a chance for Danny Parrish to break on the left. And Jacob Mendy Mendy joining the attack. And wrestled to the ground by Rooney. I think that's that going could, to be an early that could booking. be the first booking of the match, yeah. Yeah, an early booking for the Moors, number nine. But a close thing at the other end there. The two there with Charlie Hughes. And the referee let play go on. And on the far side, Joe Sparra playing the ball back. And the ball from Cranston up the line. Rooney takes possession. And then up goes the flag for offside. But his low shot comfortably fielded. Oh dear. That's not a great Ch kick though no. by Shelby. P went straight past the low and is Sabara cutting inside, trying to make the most of this. Uh, uh, good defending. And there's that. Shelby coming in, but it goes straight to Stora. And he plays the ball wide to Alex Adai. And Wilson are going to have to double up on him, but he's, going to, he's made the space to cross and he stands up a great ball. And there's Rooney heading it down towards James Ball, who couldn't quite divert his header inside the Wilson upright. Here's Sabara. About to play the ball in. Cranston lurking for the short one. In fact, Cranston takes delivery. Back to Sabara. In a good zone. And again, towards the back stick. It's and it's in the back of the net. Oh. And the flag. How I thought it's going to go up. It has not gone up. I thought he looked and like he was ball. flagging for, off, he's flagging for, oh, he for offside. Yeah, the goal has been given. And I think it's Tyrone Williams, the number 29. Or is it Nathan Cameron? I think number 29. Yeah, he bundled it in at the back sick. It was Nathan Cameron. There was a right. lot of what dispute from the Wilson yeah, players the, anyway. Uh, the linesman had his flag up at one point. And then he pointed back towards the centre yeah, circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's joy for those yeah. watching on from Solihull. It's That's unfortunate. Solihull Moors after 20 minutes. Yeah, it just, you could just sense that they were building momentum. And at the other end, the other keeper, Ryan Boot. Bit of a flat delivery, but Stora holds off Charles. And a good ball up the channel looking for Adai and he's wrestling off for Kimo, but Shelby's come out. Adai has could whip the ball into the net. What a tremendous finish. Shelby came out just too late to intercept. Akimo was held off by Adai and an expert finish by Alex Adai. What a great goal that was. Yeah, it was a good finish. I'm not so sure whether... That's a real pocket of uncertainty, wasn't it? Yeah, between Akimo and George, George Shelby. Made, and Adai, yeah, made the right decision really, to come out. Really, what a great finish that was. Yeah. If the keeper stays stays at home, he still would have had an awful lot to do. I'm not so sure. It's a so on the half hour here at Grosvenor Vale, Solihull have established a 2-0 lead. Great for their playoff credentials. Not so good for the Stones as they attempt yeah. to finish the season on the high. The, uh, the centre half. And Shelby can't be blamed for either goal. Or, although he did come, he can't, did come a long yeah, way for the second I'll one. I got caught out yeah, a little I'd, bit. I'd, I'd, I'd Here's Jacob Mendy, Mendy cutting inside. Good playing ball. the ball off his left foot towards Danny Parrish, who nods down. And here's Low Everton, back to Parrish. Go on. Parrish on his right foot. Oh, Couldn't quite make the angle for himself. No, that's better. Got an amazing home, home record. record yeah. Right up with the best in the division. 114. 114 at home. And here's Jacob Mendy Mendy with the chance to tack Cranston on the right flank. He needs a bit of help, but he's done well himself. In comes Mendy, playing the ball with cross the box, but straight to Ryan Boot. Bending the ball in. Of course, it'll be Stora takes it, me having said that. And here it is. Uh, no, it's Craston. Well, he whipped the oh, ball in. Good tip yeah. over by uh, George Shelby. That was really travelling, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. And Solihull come looking for a third goal that would almost surely kill this game off. The ball is floated to all the back stick. Good, good header. jump very by good Parrish. Header. Got up really well, but it's still 
Maycock inside and is Adai. A deflection on this shot. And Shelby is out quickly to deny James Ball as he came for the follow-up. And there we go, Lloyd Wood brings the first half to a conclusion. And a bit of a head scratcher for the Stones management team to Ashley Charles. Sunny Blue Lurvton. Yeah. Good ball through to Ryan Gondon. He's got, he's got a chance on his left foot. He's played the ball oh. across just too far ahead for Charlie Hughes. And here's Jacob Mendy Mendy. He'll want to come onto his left foot and he gets closed down. A good challenge by Cranston. That's a really good opportunity it there. Was, it was uh, just too far ahead of Charlie yeah. Hughes. So got a little bit lucky there. And Gondo coming very deep for the ball. And good ball up the channel towards Charlie Hughes from uh, Riley Harbottle. And we'll stand hunting. And winning. Ron Gondo with a good ball for Jacob Mendy. Mendy has a chance to deliver the ball into the box. And Sonny oh. Blue, Low Everton, snatched at his chance on his right foot, put the ball over That's the it. top. Nil at Damson Park. And Jacob Mendy Mendy is going to struggle to keep this in, but he does just about. Taking on Cranston. Ron Gondo, and there's a bit of space here for Alex Dyer. Work onto his left foot. He's going to have a shot, I think. Ooh. Not bad effort, always going to be lifting over the bar, but yeah. um, again, okay. Wilson, they've had more shots this half. Be looking for a little, a little ocean, a little moment of space, a pocket in front of the Solihull Moors back four. Man to provide it, maybe Low Everton. Ron Gondo working it through to Mendy, and he has a shot off his left foot. It's a shot on target, but not really troubling. Just need that goal, Tim, that's what we need. <laughs> need the goal, that's... <laughs> Why recruitment is going to be so important in the summer? Is Sabara playing the ball across the box and a, a simple ah, goal there for yeah. James Ball? Brilliant. Really well taken. The damage is done by the ball up the line. Joe Sabara and James Ball yeah. side footing the ball home. Such a simple move, wasn't it? Yeah, that's the difference. It's been clinical there, isn't he? Great delivery. Yeah, great cross and a yeah, good finish. Really good finish. No chance for Shelby. No, that's really unfortunate because as we said, we just had. A really good Stones chance, a couple of half chances. And that does make it uh, a real mountain to climb now for Stones, isn't it? Well, we played 62 minutes, 3-0 to the Moors. And George Shelby nearly beaten by that corner from Sabara. Bounced off the top of the crossbar. It's, it's, it's just, they, it's, they've they got the goals. They, they, yeah, they've just been clinical, haven't they, Solio? Uh, Mendy Mendy to Dyer and across to Denner Lewis. That's nice, much more crisp from Willstone. Lewis into the box. Looking for Charlie Hughes with a oh. chance on the near post. And there is a peel from Cameron for offside. And I, I don't, don't think Hughes was. I don't think. What a Shelby trying to make his presence felt in there. There's a flicked header and a decent chance yeah, off the head of Carl Storer, the captain. And was dispossessed by Cameron and his Maycock. To Thompson. And into Stora, good work by Solihull. There's a gap through the middle, and through goes James Ball. Good closing though yeah, by Lowood. Yeah, good defending. Wood. Very, very good defending. I think the Stones were appealing for offside, certainly in front of us in the dugout. Approaching the last 10 minutes, 11 minutes here at Grosvenor Vale. 3-0 to the Moors. A good corner, and again they're attacking it. Cameron got the head and turned in. Well, whether it's Cameron or Diawa. Could have been Justin Donner, in fact, who got the touch, but Cameron is claiming it. He certainly got above the Stones' defence with a mighty leap. Yeah, it was a, a he's a very big, strong boy. Yeah, got really that. good he header. Really yeah, well, he did. Down header. Yeah. Maybe not the touch from Donawa. No, I think someone else touched it in, but I don't know who, who they gave it to. Well, Cameron has been claimed his second goal of the game. At least he's looking to get the ball in there, Low Everton. Yeah. Good control, and he dances inside in Dead Fox corner. Ball whipped inside, oh, handball ball. by Cameron, oh, yes. and Wilson have a penalty <laughs> to the delight of here the crowds here. Right at Grosvenor Vale, yeah, with three or four minutes remaining. Jacob Mendy sure. Mendy, who took the penalty against Barnet to wrap up the 5 1 win here. Yeah, he's been playing, but uh, so I hope I just hope we, we, we see a Stones goal, Tim. First goal <laughs> in seven games, Jacob Mendy Mendy. Will he hit the net? He does yes. hit the net. <laughs> Wilson finally have a goal to their yeah. name. Jacob Mendy Mendy. Brilliant. 88 minutes. Yeah, good penalty. Really good penalty. Wilson won. Solihull Moors 4. Yeah. It's a long time. 
since the zero on the scoreboard has <laughs> been chalked up as a one. Yeah. Finally, Wilson have a goal in seven games, and that will give them something to uh, yeah. to chew on in these last few minutes of the game. Well, we've played nearly six minutes of injury time, which seems a bit extreme. Well, there have been a few substitutions. And there we go. Lloyd Wood brings the curtain down on the Stones season here at Grosvenor Vale. And the crowd respond with a warm round of applause for both teams. I think we've seen Solihull Moors play off credentials this afternoon.